about uh, 17 minutes away from Columbia's first encounters with the atmosphere, that occurring in altitude about 75 miles above the Pacific Ocean to the north of the Hawaiian Islands. A flight dynamics officer here in Mission Control, Richard Jones, uh, continuing to discuss uh, runway options and uh, approach for Columbia, uh, the best possible approach for the shuttle landing facility. Columbia currently targeted toward a landing on Kennedy Space Center runway 33, end of the shuttle landing facility runway. Uh, discussion uh, as to whether or not uh, that may be switched to runway 15, uh, that the decision expected uh, as Columbia continues its descent. There's no issue with making that decision uh, as Columbia is descending, uh, that's been done uh, during previous shuttle entries as well. Again, a discussion underway still of the runway that uh, will be selected uh, as the final runway for Columbia's landing. Columbia on track, though, for touchdown around 8.16 a.m. Central Time. Altitude now 146 statute miles as Columbia free falls toward its encounter with the atmosphere. That will occur at an altitude of about 75 miles in about 13 minutes as it uh, continues west. Uh, encountering the atmosphere above the Pacific Ocean to the north of the Hawaiian Islands. Willie, we're with you on remaining APU Stark. Pilot Willie McCool calling down that he's starting the two remaining auxiliary power units on board now, so all three will be up and running. They supply power for the shuttle's hydraulic systems. Columbia's altitude now 71 statute miles as it uh, enters Earth's atmosphere above the Pacific Ocean en route to, to the Kennedy Space Center at speed uh, 17,000 miles per hour. Columbia with wings level and nose angled up about 40 degrees to control heating as it descends into the atmosphere. Its altitude now 68 miles. As uh, Columbia descends into the atmosphere and approaches the continental United States, it'll perform the first in a series of four banks it performs as it approaches the Kennedy Space Center. The first bank to the right, then back to the left, then back to the right, and then a final bank to the left as it approaches Kennedy and the shuttle landing facility runway. Those designed to dissipate speed for the shuttle as it descends into the atmosphere toward landing. Just under 30 minutes to touchdown for Columbia now. Altitude 64 miles. Columbia speed 16,620 miles per hour. Range to touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center runway, 3,450 statute miles. Columbia in almost an 80 degree bank to the right uh, to dissipate speed. The first of four banks it performs as it uh, approaches Florida to slow down as it descends. Altitude now 47 miles or about 248,000 feet. The shuttle speed is 16,400 miles per hour. Aboard the shuttle on the flight deck are Commander Rick Husband and Pilot Willie McCool, Flight Engineer Kapana Chavla, and uh, Mission Specialist Laurel Clark. On the lower deck of the shuttle for entry are Payload Commander Mike Anderson, Mission Specialist David Brown, and Payload Specialist from the Israel Space Agency, Alon Ramon. Shuttle's altitude now 45 miles, speed 15,800 miles per hour, continuing in a right bank with wings angled 70 degrees, the first of four banks it performs to dissipate speed as it approaches landing. Columbia crossing uh, the California coast, again uh, just to the north of the San Francisco area. Its course will take it across uh, Sacramento, California. Columbia continuing uh, toward Florida, now approaching the New Mexico Texas border, altitude 40 miles, speed 13,200 miles per hour, range to touchdown 1,400 miles. The shuttle in the left bank with wings angled about uh, 57 degrees to horizontal. Columbia Houston, we see your tire pressure messages, and we did not copy your last. Roger. Uh,
Columbia Houston, UHF com check. Capcom, uh, Charlie Hobart calling uh, Columbia on UHF frequency as it approaches uh, the Merritt Island tracking station range in Florida. Twelve and a half minutes to touchdown according to uh, clocks in mission control. Columbia Houston, UHF com check. Columbia Houston, UHF com check. Communications uh, with Columbia were lost at about 8 a.m. Central Time, about uh, 10, 10 minutes ago. This is Mission Control Houston. Flight controllers here continue in a contingency, securing information and notes. Search and rescue teams have been mobilized to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. No tracking data or communications has been reported from the Space Shuttle Columbia since 8 a.m. Central Time this morning as it uh, flew 200,000 feet above north central Texas en route to a landing at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is Mission Control Houston. Flight controllers here in Mission Control have declared a contingency as a communications was lost with the Space Shuttle Columbia during its descent from orbit en route to a landing at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The last communications with Columbia occurred at about 8 a.m. Central Time as it was above the north central Texas area at an altitude of approximately 200,000 feet. Any debris that is located in the vicinity of the north central Texas area that uh, may be related to the shuttle contingency should be reported to local law enforcement who will then uh, report to NASA. It should be avoided. Uh, debris could be potentially hazardous due to toxic substances that are used as propellants on the space shuttle. Flight controllers here are securing all information and notes and data pertinent to the scheduled descent and landing of the shuttle today as part of contingency procedures. Search and rescue teams in the Dallas-Fort Worth area have been alerted. Again, any debris that is located in the north central Texas uh, vicinity that may be related to the space shuttle contingency should be reported to local law enforcement authorities and should be avoided as it may be hazardous due to toxic substances that are used as propellants for the space shuttle. <laughs> 